Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Canva to create um, t-shirt mock-ups that you can sell on Etsy or Facebook or wherever else you sell your, um, your t-shirts at. So we're gonna jump right in, but I do want to say, first of all, this tutorial, most everything I'm doing is only available through Canva Pro, which is a paid subscription, and I do have links where you can try that out and see if you like it or not, but if you don't think you want to get the Canva Pro um, subscription, I wanna save you some time and tell you none of this is gonna work for you. If you wanna think about it, give it a try, um, just take a look and see what it can do. Let's jump right in and I'll show you how to make these t-shirt mock-ups. Okay, so I'm going to come back to the home page of Canva. When you log into Canva, and again, I'll put a link down that you can try this pro um, Canva Pro out for, um, a, take it for a test drive and see if you like it. Um, okay, when you first log in, this is your home page. There's a lot you can do here. Canva is quickly becoming, hands down, the best design editing software. I mean, it's it's amazing, but I don't want to jump into all of that other stuff. I just want to talk about these t-shirt mock-ups. So you're here on your opening page. I want you to scroll down to this tab that says smart mock-ups. Click on that. Now you can see there's over 8,000 mock-ups. We've got smartphones, laptops, watches, TVs, um, all kinds of stuff. Recently used, I've gone over these when I was making the um, the thumbnail for this YouTube video. But you can narrow it down. You can come up in here and you can go to t-shirts. And you're going to start seeing a ton of t-shirts. We can narrow this down even further. We can say men's t-shirts. And then you will only see men. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with women's t-shirts. So I'm going to do women's right here, women's t-shirts, and then you will start to scroll. Now, there's a lot in here, and a lot of it you're not going to like. What I want you to know when you're scrolling through these photos, pay absolutely no attention to the background that's in these photos. What I want you to look at is the model. I want you to look at the shirt that she's wearing, and I want you to look at her body position if she's holding anything in her hands. That's the main thing that you're going to be looking for here. These backgrounds, we're not going to use. Um, Canva is fabulous, and I love them, but this is stock photography at its finest, and that, that's not what we're going to use. Okay, so... Let me scroll down to some of them that I actually used in the thumbnail. And what I was really looking for was a good diversity, um, and Canva's got that down. I mean, we've got all ethnicities in here. You're going to find what you're looking for if you just keep scrolling. A lot of these are sporty, so if you're, if you're designing sports t-shirts, those are going to be some that you might want to keep the background in. So just keep that in mind. Okay. I loved her. She was great and fun, and she had a lot of different um, styles going on. I think that I used this one in the um, thumbnail for this video, but let's go ahead and choose this one for right now. So just click your photo that you like. And then you're going to select what you want to put on the shirt. So hit select, and you have some options here. You can choose from something you have already uploaded which a lot of my files are already uploaded onto here, or you can go find something off of your computer. Click Upload, and just find whatever file it is that you want to put on. I'll do this football and fall, y'all. So I've double-clicked it. It's gonna pull it into my Upload section. Now I'll click it and hit Select, and it's gonna put that on the T-shirt for me. Now, it, it sizes it to fit the full length of the shirt, but you can adjust this. So I'm going to come in and adjust, and I'm just going to make the whole file a little bit smaller, and I'm going to center it. You can tell it's centered because it has that white cross. If I come down, that cross goes away. If I go over, that cross goes away. It's centered when it has the cross, so I'll hit Save. That's still a little big. Let's try to adjust that again.
that's better. That looks a little more reasonable for the t-shirt. And you can see it has perfectly positioned it on this t-shirt. Let me show you what it does if you've got a t-shirt that's kind of sideways or they're wearing some clothing and you know you want the, t the design on your t-shirt to be underneath their clothing. The only thing I don't like about this is when you hit back you have to scroll through everything all over again but that's okay we can quickly get to where we want to be. Um, she's wearing a jacket but let me keep scrolling. Okay, let's look at this one. So she's got this kind of half on, half off thing going on. Let's put the same design on that shirt and you can see how it's going to fit in behind the little shirt that she has. Let's make that smaller though, because again, that's just it's too big. and it perfectly puts them on for you. This is such a fabulous, fabulous program. You don't need any fancy um, software. You don't need any designer skills. You just put it on there and you're good to go. Let me show you one more where the t-shirt is kind of at an angle. Okay, this one's good. There's not even a model in this photo, but this t-shirt is at an angle. So we're gonna put the design on it and you'll see how it just perfectly places it like it's actually on the shirt. We'll hit select, go grab our file, select, and there it is on the shirt just like that. It looks like it is on that shirt. It doesn't look like it's something we just placed on top of it like a lot of them do. Um, even mine before this smart, smart mock-ups, all of mine, I just took my design and hoped that it was on a flat image and placed it on there. Okay, so this is what we want to go with. Let's say this is what we want. We're going to save the mock-up. Okay, when you do that, it gives you a couple options. Use in a design or download. If you love the background, you love everything about the mock-up you've made, go ahead and use it in a design. You can make it a Facebook post. You can make it an Instagram post. You can custom size it to your Etsy listing photo size. Whatever you want to do there, it's good to go. If you um, have Canva connected to your Facebook and your Instagram, you can instantly push it to those, like all done. Mine is connected. I'm not actually going to publish this, but I'll show you what I mean. So we do want to make it a little bit bigger. Now it's the exact size of a Facebook post. I would hit share to my Facebook page. And then I would write in whatever it is I want to write in and I would publish it and that would show up right on my Crystals Crafties Facebook page because I have these connected just like that with no additional work. But that's not what we're doing here. So I'm going to get out of this. Get out of that. Okay. What I want you to do if you're not just loving the design, if there's some more editing you want to do to it, which probably is going to be the background, I want you to click download and it will download your file. You can see mine shows here. It's also in the download folder on my computer. It's gonna go wherever you have your computer set up to download your items to. Okay, we're done with this. Let's come back home. And now we're going to create a new design. Again, I'll just do a YouTube thumbnail. Um, you can create whatever kind of design you want. If you do want a Facebook or an Instagram, if you want um, an Etsy listing, you can size it to what you size your Etsy listings to, whatever you wanna do, but just get you a new document going and come over here to your uploads. Now, it won't already be there. The reason this is there is because I clicked that other option to begin with that, you know, put it to a design. So what you'll need to do is come and upload your file. So click uploads and just come and find wherever you saved it to. Let's see, mine is going to be in this downloads and it's actually right here, t-shirt on a hanger. Double click that and it will put it into my uploads again. I'm going to show you though on these other ones that I created just for this project. This one's probably the best one. So I created this one. You can see it
in the thumbnail for this video, I have her right here. But when I created the design, she looked like this. Not at all what I wanted. I, I, she's in a Halloween shirt. I didn't want her on the beach. But I really liked the way that the design showed on this shirt. I loved the way that it came in onto this shirt, and I wanted to use it. So what you want to do here, again, using some of our Canva Pro features. This is not available in the free version of Canva. I've got my picture selected. I'm going to click Edit Image, and I'm going to remove the background. Bam, her background's all gone. Pull these handles in a little bit. And love your legs, lady, but again, it's supposed to be fall. So I've got to take her shorts out. And that's how I created this one that was in my t-shirt mock-up. And you can see I did the same thing with these other ladies here. But let me show you some other things that you can do if you don't want to put a whole bunch of models or a whole bunch of different shirts in, we can come and get, let's do, um, spooky sky background. Oh, and take it to photos. This is great. Let's position this backwards. I'm moving it behind the lady, behind the mock-up that we have here. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Um, I, I don't want the sun to be where you can see it or the moon or whatever that is. So I want to flip this picture around. Watch this. Flip. And I'm going to do a horizontal flip. And now that sun or the moon or whatever that is is over there. And I can kind of get rid of it. I can put her on top of it. And it just looks a little bit better. So I'm going to group these two together here. I'm going to select the spooky background. I'm going to hold shift and select the lady in her t-shirt and I'm going to hit group. And now whatever I do, they are perspective. They stay in alignment. And then let's see, I want to add some titles to this. I'm going to get my elements and just grab a square, position this square in over here. Let's turn it black. So I've got my color up here. I'm just going to grab a black. You can get brand colors, and this is something you can set up if you have Canva Pro. You can get recommended colors. I think they're drawing from that t-shirt. I'm not really sure. You can get colors that are actually in your photo, or you can finally come down here and just get your standard basic colors. I chose black for this. And then I'm going to type some, some wording on here. Um, I'm just going to hit the T on my keyboard to pull in the text box. There we go. Um, so fall sale. Let me pick a font for it. I'm going to pick a color for it. Uh, let's make it white. And then I'm going to position this over here. And again, it's going to give you these lines. You see that? Now I know that is perfectly centered. And then let's type another T. All shirts 50% off. And we'll size this down. Let's see here. Do that first. That's actually just fine. So you could do that, and then you could publish this design. Um, there's just a ton of other things that you could do, but what you really want to do when you're looking for your t-shirt is you really, really just want to pay attention to the model, what she looks like, what she's wearing, what she's doing. This one was one I had in there um, originally. Let me delete some of this other stuff. Take her background out, edit image, remove background. So I had her in there to begin with, but I don't know. There were too many models on the page and she just didn't make the cut. There we go. Now you can see what it looks like when she's kind of just positioned into this as well, holding her cup of coffee. So you can do that with any of those smart mock-ups. The thing I really, really love about it and that has just been such a game changer 
is the smart feature. Canva will take your design and put it on any shirt they have in their smart mock-up. And that's that. It it's, looks like it's actually printed on those shirts. You don't have to position it at all. You just edit it if you need to make it bigger or smaller or move it up and down, whatever. And Canva does the rest. All right, that's all I have. We'll see you next time.